It's the holidays, so we made a movie for you guys to consume since we didn't have some extra time. These are 39 items according to you guys that Minecraft needs to add to their game. And I will see you at the very end for a surprise. I'm gonna need everybody watching this video right now to leave a like and subscribe down below because this ore we're about to find is uranium. And as you all know, uranium is very dangerous. In fact, it is a radioactive material. In fact, it is a radioactive material, which can be used to make nuclear weapons of destruction. It is found near Diamond Height, which we are just about to be in. Stop, we're on the Y13. This should be perfect. Uranium has got to be very close by. In fact, it's a little bit less rare than diamond, but almost the same rarity. Come on, any second. Any se it's got. it's gonna be here. A any second. Where is it? Ladies and gentlemen, we have found the uranium. Oh my gosh. So the thing about uranium is if you get too close to it, you can actually take damage because obviously it is radioactive. So for example, ow, okay, I'm taking damage just being next to it. But when you break the uranium, you get unstable uranium. So I'm gonna get all this uranium and show you guys how to make the stable version. To craft stable uranium, all you have to do is place it in the two by two, which I just failed to do, hold on. There it is, stable uranium, which actually looks like a uranium ingot. Now, the awesome thing about stable uranium is we can actually make nuclear TNT with this. Nuclear TNT is very, very dangerous, okay? And not only can we make nuclear TNT, we can also make uranium gear. And the cool thing about uranium gear is it will protect you from any form of fire damage. I'm kind of scared to test it out, but here goes nothing. Okay, wait, I think I forgot you have to have full uranium gear. We're missing the helmet and legs. There we go. Much better. When you have the full uranium set on, you have no damage to fire. But now it's time to show you nuclear TNT. Uranium TNT is really hard to make because you have to have four uranium blocks, which costs a lot of uranium. I think we're actually going to have the perfect amount. You place the blocks in just like this with the stable uranium around it, and voila, nuclear TNT. Unfortunately, this village is not going to be here once we place this down and ignite it and run away dude run away we might not survive the blast radius oh my goodness uh oh what the heck i'm actually really surprised the village is still standing however there is now uranium all throughout the village which is not damaging the villagers somehow and this giant crater this is what i'm saying guys you gotta be careful about your uranium the next ore we're looking for is salt. And you might be asking me, Preston, where do we find salt? Well, you can find a lot of it in YouTube comments. But no, we're gonna actually find it in the ocean. It makes sense, right? There's salt water in the ocean, so there should be salt here. It's really close to the surface. So what we should do is find it underneath sand or underneath clay, fairly close by, you can't miss it. Like when you find it, you know you have found salt. It looks really, really cool. But for some reason, we're not finding it, dadgummit. What the heck? Ooh, big patch of clay here. Come on, sand. And, wait, no sand? Come on. Oh, there it is. Yes, we have found the salt ore, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, we might also take damage while we're mining the salt. But I need the salt. Salt is one of my favorite new ores. Okay, now we got to go to the surface. We can get more salt later. So you might be thinking salt only has one use. That would be incorrect. One thing you can use salt on is you can combine it with any piece of food and make salted versions of that food. Now, the cool thing about this is it will fully fill up your hunger bar. But the only problem with that is you have thirst. And if you don't drink water soon, you'll start to take damage. So we actually have some water on on this. We're gonna drink some, get rid of that thirst bar, and now show you the next thing you can do with salt. So not only does salt preserve our food, but it will also preserve our house. And if you don't believe me, just go to PrestonStyles.com and check out our merchandise. All right, link in the description. I'm not sure how that makes any sense, but just do it anyways, okay? What we have to do is we have to place a giant line of salt down like this, then we're gonna open up the gate with the creepers and now watch the magic happen. Da da da! Look at that! The mobs, well, creepers aren't the smartest, so they're actually going to just continue running into the salt until they die. I feel kind of bad for them, 
but I'm also half creeper, so I don't feel too bad for them. And they are trying to blow up my house, but I mean, come on. When are they gonna learn that they can't cross the salt line? Oh, geez, now they're dying. Okay, that's just embarrassing. I'm gonna take their gunpowder and save that for later. You see this right behind us? This is nether gold ore. And yes, I am wearing a full uranium set because we are here in the nether and it's very dangerous. And I forgot to mention that you can also craft a uranium sword, which is amazing. And the reason why we had to get fully kitted out is because when you mine the nether gold, unfortunately, pigmen will start coming after us. They are very protective over their nether gold. Oh gosh. Oh, there's so many here. Oh no. Now that we have over nine pieces of nether gold, if we can do this very fast, we can craft this. And here we go. If you place down a nether gold block, look what it does. Boom, spits out gold, and all the zombie pigmen are now aggroed to the block, and so, it's not working, oh no, they're supposed to be aggroed to the block, this has gone horribly wrong, I don't know if you guys can still hear them, but the pigmen are directly above me, now I don't count this as a separate new ore, because it's also found in the nether, but this is nether ruby, nether ruby is probably one of my favorites, I mean so is uranium, really all of them are because they're so cool. You can do so many things with nether ruby. One of the coolest things is making a nether ruby sword. Now we're ready for the zombie pigmen, baby. So the nether ruby sword, when you hit a target, will actually set them on fire. But the problem is we're fighting zombie pigmen. The other thing it does is I will actually heal two hearts whenever I kill a zombie pigment. So I'm gonna let these guys damage me a little bit. Goodness gracious, they're so loud. But check this out. As I kill them, I'm actually regaining hearts. Yeah, do all the damage you guys want to me. I'll regain all the hearts anyways. It doesn't matter. It's kind of like the sword has a vampire or lifesteal effect on it, which is overpowered. And now that we got rid of those pesky zombie pigments, I can show you guys the nether ruby apple. If we eat this ruby apple, we will glow red, but we can also trade with pigmen merchants. This is a steal of a deal. But check it out. We're gonna eat the nether ruby apple and watch. We are now glowing red. Just in case you like the red colors as much as I do, I love it. Now we are adventuring for copper ore. Copper ore is actually really common and you can find it pretty much in any biome, but you can mainly find it here in caves. Now copper has a lot of different uses. It's kind of crazy because I would say you find it as often, if not more often than coal. And you already find coal like crazy, but look at how much copper we're finding. This is kind of insane. We're now back in our house. Unfortunately, it looks like our salt is gone. Maybe the rain came and washed it away. I don't know. With copper though, you can make copper ingots just as you would with iron ingots and other things like that. So we're gonna make a bunch of these copper ingots because they have a lot of cool uses. One thing you can do with it is you can actually make a copper pickaxe. The copper pickaxe isn't the best, but it does give you higher chances of getting copper, which is kind of nice if you're really needing copper. And you can also make a copper axe, which is very handy since copper is such a frequent resource found in the caves. However, I would say the most useful thing of copper is what we are about to show you. This is copper wire and it almost kind of sort of replaces redstone in a way. Well, let me show you. We're gonna place down all of these furnaces. This should be, I'm trying to make sure I get the spacing right, but I'm getting blocked. This should be enough. As you can see, there's a lot of spacing in these furnaces. Now look, there is no fuel inside of them, right? But with copper wire, if we connect all of these, I'm gonna make this one my main one. I'm gonna put down my redstone torch there in just a moment. Now that we've got all of the wiring connected, actually we're missing a little bit, hold on. And there we go. They are now all connected. We just have to place beef inside of each furnace. But as you can see, once again, no coal, no fuel source, right? Now we just need to power the copper wires with redstone and... Oh, frick. I made a few adjustments, but I really hope this works. And yeet, look at that. Every single furnace is powered without needing any fuel in it whatsoever, all smelting our beautiful beef. How cool is that? Oh boy, for this one, I'm feeling a little bit scared. This is the final ore. This 
is Ender Amethyst. It is the most rare ore ever in Minecraft. The bad thing is you can see Enderman everywhere and you'll never find it on the surface when you are in the end. It's extremely rare to find. Thankfully, I think I know where some is hidden. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, look at how beautiful Ender Amethyst is. It is so gorgeous and it's probably the most overpowered ore in all of Minecraft. And like with the other ores, you can make Ender Amethyst blocks if you put it in a two by two Look at how gorgeous this block is. Way better looking than a diamond or emerald block. You gotta agree, right? And then on top of that, we can make gear out of this as well. And the gear is absolutely insane. So we're gonna make a full set because only when you have the full set do you get the benefits. Let's take off the uranium gear. We've had this all long enough. With amethyst, you get built in resistance to and strength to. And plus, look at us. We are a fashion statement. I even put some torches down so you guys can see how beautiful we look. And don't even get me started with the amethyst sword, which looks so cool. I love how it looks. The Amethyst Sword has extreme increased damage and increased knockback. Let me see if I can test it on an Enderman. Yeet! Oh my god. Look at that! The dude flew! Oh <laughs> We just two-shot an Enderman. Hold on. Yeet! Oh my gosh. If you crit an Enderman with the Amethyst Sword, you can kill him in one hit. This is actually crazy. And if these guys decide to hit me, they will actually get levitation because I'm wearing a full set of amethyst armor. Bye-bye, <laughs> Enderman. These are 15 new arrows that Minecraft should have added in their newest version. Starting with our first arrow, this is what I like to call the drill arrow. Now, we've all been there in Minecraft where we've had a dig in mine for a very long time, right? It's annoying. We don't want to be doing that. This arrow completely eliminates you ever needing to basically have a pickaxe or to mine in your entire life. Oh, and by the way, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button, that like button for these crazy arrows, and you're going to want to watch until the very end to see the best arrow that we have created. So with the tunnel arrow, all you have to do is hold up a horse. You might want to move here because this isn't gonna be pretty. All right, you don't want to move? You really don't want to? Okay, he's being stubborn, guys. I guess it's time. Here we go. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at this. The tunnel arrow destroys everything in its path except for ores. So you can actually keep firing it over and over again. Look at how much iron there is down here. This is insane. And if we keep going, eventually we're going to find diamonds, baby. Let's go. So this is perfect. Perfect. Once you find your resource that you really want to grab, we switch over to our next arrow. This is what I like to call the harvester arrow, and this requires diamond ore to make. All you have to do is put it in. Very easy, takes no time whatsoever. But once you make the harvester arrow, you shoot the ores that you want to collect, and it automatically harvests them for you. So check it out. You want all this coal? Easy. Shoot it with your harvester arrow and just watch it happen. It all breaks up. So like, check this out. I literally can harvest enough iron to have a full set here in just moments and I could even get an anvil if I wanted to like this is crazy it even smelts it for you you don't even have to smelt it it's probably one of my favorite arrows check this out baby 31 iron already feel like we even have to break a sweat for that okay okay so now you're probably like Preston well great now we're stuck here in this tunnel how are we going to get out don't worry there's an arrow for that so this arrow is actually called the mounted arrow, but I like to call it my personalized Uber or a magic carpet Uber. All you have to do is look at the direction that you want to go, get ready, and let it go, and look at that. <laughs> and it's crazy. You can just keep shooting your arrow over and over and over again, and then you can basically fly infinitely. This is one of my favorite arrows because it allows so much mobility in Minecraft. And we all know that Minecraft could use a little bit more mobility. I mean, sure, you've got horses, you got powered rails, you've got mine carts, and you even have ender portals. 
and nether portals, but you don't have mounted arrows, do you? No, you don't. So this next arrow is a little bit experimental. I don't know if it's going to work, but if it does work, I promise you it's amazing and you're definitely gonna want to see this added to Minecraft. So let's see if this ends up working. Hold on. Uh, okay, I think our arrow, is our arrow broke? Yeah, okay, arrows, what the heck are you doing? Oh, oh, it works, it works, the meteor arrow, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh my goodness. Was that not an amazing arrow or what? And you might be wondering, Preston, why would a meteor arrow need to be added to Minecraft? Because who doesn't like meteors? It's like our brand new Preston Styles Ice Cream Fire merch, which you can get. Link down below in the description. Who doesn't want ice cream? And who doesn't want ice cream merchandise? Exactly. But this meteor could be used to clear out areas. Maybe you have a friend that's really annoying you. Maybe you've got a herd of wild cows that you just want to take out that have been annoying the heck out of you. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get in. Just use your meteor arrows, sit back, relax, grab your favorite caffeine beverage, and just enjoy the fun. Speaking of unnecessary wild animals, I have about a hundred cows here that have been really just annoying me and I'm not really enjoying their company anymore. Plus, I really need leather because I want to make some books and I could use some cooked beef so I could, you know, not go hungry. So what we're going to do is we're going to put down our handy dandy crafting table and we're going to craft what is known as the execute arrow. All you need is redstone dust. Easy peasy, right? Like no problem. Lemons are absolutely freshly squeezed. We're going to make the execute arrow and all you have to do for this arrow shoot it at the ground and watch its magic baby and boom just like that it shoots every single animal in sight you don't even have to hit the animals you just shoot near them and it automatically shoots an arrow at each and every single one of the cows I mean, I do feel a little bit bad about the cows, but this is a great way for you to get all of your experience, raw beef, and leather in no time. Sorry, vegetarians, I apologize. Oh, great. Speaking of nuisances, I've got about 50 slimes or something right here, which just won't go away no matter how many times I try to get rid of them. So what we have here today, ladies and gentlemen, is what I like to call the earthquake arrow. The earthquake arrow is made by just an arrow and a little bit of dirt, but watch where the real magic happens. We're gonna get to a nice little area of height right about here, and we're gonna shoot the arrow and check it out. Oh, it even hit me. Oh no, some of the slimes are escaping. Don't worry, guys. The nice thing about the earthquake arrow is you can shoot it a lot, and you will get the results you are looking for. Oh my gosh, look at how many slimes are down there. Oh, <laughs> we just killed almost every single slime with that arrow. Oh, and don't worry, it works on mountainsides as well, and it actually looks really cool on the mountainsides in my personal opinion. I mean, it just eradicates all kinds of pests. And pretty much just like that, you have now gotten rid of almost every single slime except for two. And it even doesn't, it doesn't destroy anything, which is one of the coolest parts. Like it doesn't break your grass, it doesn't break your house, doesn't break your crafting bench. It looks like it will, but it doesn't. It just kills mobs and deals damage. I feel like Minecraft could really use this arrow. That's all I'm saying, okay? One of my next favorite arrows is the lightning arrow. I love elemental arrows as much as the next guy because they're just cool. Fire arrows, ice arrows, arrows, lightning arrows, you name it. But this one is just really cool because you can shoot it wherever you want and it causes devastation. Multiple lightning strikes. In fact, I believe it's somewhere around 30 to 50 lightning strikes in one location. And I mean, it just destroys everything to bits. Plus, you can spam the heck out of this one and it just makes you feel like, look at this. Oh my gosh, this can't be legal. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is illegal, ladies and gentlemen. Don't try this at home because it is not safe. You can only try it at home if you have a diglet here to help you out, which in this case I do, so I'm okay. It's not illegal. So I've been holding this next arrow kind of hostage from you guys for a while, but it is by far my all-time favorite custom arrow that I think they really should add to Minecraft. This 
is the black hole era, ladies and gentlemen. So all you have to do is, oh, here we go. We found some cows. Shoot the black hole arrow and just watch as it sucks up everything. This is the ultimate prankster arrow, destroying arrow. Heck, you could even use it to help you mine if you wanted to, but it's so clean and it continuously absorbs and absorbs and absorbs. And the coolest thing is if you fire multiples of them, they all keep going at the same time and it just looks like a fireworks show. It's so cool. Plus, the nice thing is, it won't kill any entities, so in case you were worried about your cows, your chickens, your villagers, or maybe even the friends on your Minecraft server, well, you won't gotta worry about them, because the black hole only likes to eat grass and dirt and stone. And I think it also likes diorite. <laughs> yeah, it likes di- oh, and iron. I saw some iron in there, and it likes coal. Okay, so basically, it's everything but entities. Oh, and what is this? Is this a house with players on it? This is the perfect time to show you the next arrow and probably one of my favorites. I know I already said the black hole arrow is one of my favorites, but this one is definitely a close second, if not a tie. This is the heat-seeking arrow, and I think I see some name tags in here. Oh, these guys don't even look like they worked hard on their house at all. What do they do, copy and paste this in? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm seeing a couple of name tags in here. Oh, oh, here we go. So with the heat-seeking arrows, you just shoot them anywhere you want to. And look at it. It highlights them and chases them. <laughs> and it goes perfectly at the speed that they run at. So they're not going to be able to escape them, at least not forever. Oh, no, we lost one. Oh, here's the next one. Let's just shoot a couple of these in the sky. Here we go. Oh, and you know what? I think I have another arrow that is perfect with this one. This guy didn't even try to run away. Oh, Mel's just back for some more, guys. All right, let's just shoot these into the sky. There we go. <laughs> We've got just a couple ready. So they will explode on other things if they end up hitting them first instead of the player. So he's actually doing a pretty good job right now juking our arrows. But unfortunately, I have an unlimited supply of these. So he's really not going to be able to run for forever and then we have our next arrow which is the freeze arrow and of course this bad boy is very very simple you just have to shoot the target with the arrow if i could just if stop come on all right that's it you're not gonna go run away for that far there we go beautiful now that he's stuck in the freeze arrow we're just gonna switch back to our heat seeking arrow and then we're just gonna fire a couple of them and let's see yes Perfect! Those two arrows need to be added into Minecraft like yesterday. What is this guy doing? What is... Okay, that's it. Switch into my earthquake arrows. No, don't you think you can run away from me, buddy? There we go. Just taking out the trash. <laughs> so you guys know I love... TNT. I mean, who doesn't like TNT? You can do stuff like TNT Wars with it. You can use it to mine quickly. There's so many good things that you can use TNT for. But my favorite thing to use TNT for in Minecraft is definitely TNT pranks. I know. I'm kind of a savage, but I can't help it, baby. It's in my blood. Unfortunately, my wife's house is not on this Minecraft server, so we will just have to demonstrate in a very large open area, but this is the prime arrow rain havoc from the sky dropping TNT as it travels so when you shoot this arrow prime TNT falls continuously literally raining the entire way through okay oh my goodness Oh, the sheep! This sheep is a beast! I cannot believe he did. Did we just get a stick? How did we just... Hey, get out of here, sheep. Sheep, get out of here! Actually, we can't kill the sheep. He, he did just survive a TNT rain arrow. There's no way we could get rid of him. Also, the arrow looks really cool if you shoot it straight up. Look at it. Oh! <laughs> it just rains and comes straight back down. Why don't we just spawn in some creepers? I mean, nobody's really a big fan of creepers, right? We love their gunpowder, but pretty much everything else, uh, they're not really useful. This is the minigun arrow. You fire one arrow, and look at how many arrows fire it. Oh, this would be so helpful in Minecraft Monday. So basically, you could just shoot a... Oh, oh, my, oh my gosh! I don't think I've ever tested the minigun arrow like this. <laughs> you just keep shooting arrows like crazy. Come here, creeper. Let's go. This is so cool. 
Oh, oh yeah, you want some? You want some? And just like that, you've got gunpowder for the rest of your life, baby. And you can pick the arrows back up and you will definitely never run out of arrows. I mean, goodness gracious. How many arrows did we fire there? That's crazy. And I really like this arrow. This is the grapple arrow, which is created with a slime block, but check it out. You shoot an object and then you launch over to it. And it's so helpful because you can use it to jump. Like, look at this. This is so cool. It's kind of like the mounted arrow, but in a way, a little bit more useful because it's a lot more accurate. You can shoot exactly where you want to go and you're going to go there. No questions asked. Plus, it kind of launches you into things. And if you're stuck somewhere, like, let's say, let's go in the water and test this bad boy out. If you're in the water and you're like, no, I'm stuck. All you have to do is shoot something and watch the magic happen, baby. Oh. Oh, that was cool. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the grapple arrow. I gotta say, one of my favorites. Speaking of favorites, this next arrow really speaks to my heart because as you guys know, I'm made of lava in Minecraft, so I really like lava. That's why my merch is fire merch. I was gonna do lava merch, but I'm, I'm just gonna wait a little bit longer, okay? One day it'll be lava merch. And just in case you don't want to mine down into a cave or go to the nether for an infinite lava source, that's okay, because we have the lava trail arrow. You just shoot this arrow and it's lava as far as the eye can see. And if you abuse it like I am, look at that. It looks like the Stranger Things Mind Flare or like a big lava spider or something like that. This is so cool. It takes a long time for the lava to reach down, but you know, if you ever want to do a lava prank, this is the arrow you're going to want and you're going to need. And of course, for our final arrow, it would not be a Preston YouTube video if we didn't blow stuff up with the TNT arrow. This arrow turns everything below it into TNT, so all you have to do is shoot up and in as many directions as possible, and literally you can turn your entire Minecraft world into TNT. Some say this arrow isn't useful, and I say pish Gosh, this arrow is the greatest thing to ever exist in Minecraft. We are in the mushroom biome, and this is where we are going to find our first ore, the shroomite ore. If my memory is correct, you should find shroomite ore about as rare as you find iron, which is pretty common, and it's usually 10 to 15 blocks underneath the ground. So we should be at a pretty good spot right now. Um, I think I just found a cave system. I <laughs> wait. If we're in a cave system, there's definitely got to be shroomite ore in here somewhere. I mean, come on, I even found a mushroom. It's really easy to find the shroomite ore because the ore blocks look like a mushroom cow. I'm not even kidding. And would you look at that, sweet mothers of Mary's milk? We have found the shroomite ore. We just need to go over here and grab it. Oh, yes. Come here, shroomite ore. Yes. Oh, this is a really healthy vein of shroomite ore, too. We managed to get seven. What in the heck? A wandering trader has just randomly appeared. Um, no, you cannot have my shroomite ore. It is for me and the viewers only. Now, here's the thing about shroomite ore. You do need to smelt it kind of like with iron, but there is a problem. I just love how the shroomite ingots look, but if you hold the shroomite ingot in your hand, you get poisoned. It's very unfortunate. However, one of the really cool things about shroomite ore is if you have an entire set, which we are making right now, not only do you look epic, but do you see that green gas behind me? It lays down essentially what is a poison gas cloud behind you. Oh no, oh, I'm sorry, mushroom cow. I've got to demonstrate. Oh no, I'm using him as a demonstration and I feel awful. <laughs> I'm so sorry, <laughs> but look at that. You can take out other mobs and other people by just walking around and leaving toxic fumes behind you. If for whatever reason you're not impressed yet, just stick around. They only get crazier. Now, speaking of crazy, we are looking for ice crystal ore, which is just insanely awesome. But the only place you can find it is in an ice spike biome, and sometimes it even spawns on top of the ice spikes. It's very rare, but it does happen. I've seen it happen maybe once or twice. Come on, ice crystal ore. I know it. It's just hiding from me. These brand new... Oh my... Oh my gosh, would you look at that? Ice crystal ore is insanely cool looking. Oh my gosh, we found so much of it. Let's go. Dude, this is awesome. Holy moly. We're gonna get like 20 ice crystals from this vein. 
You guys watching this video right now must be good luck because I never find this much. Now, if I'm being honest, I think this one is actually overpowered because when you craft a full set with this stuff, not only do you look amazing, but if you're in any kind of snow biome in Minecraft, you get regeneration one permanently. You do unfortunately get slowness, but come on, permanent regeneration one is like overpowered. And it should, hold on, let's test this out. Yep, it creates ice underneath you just like the Frostwalker enchant, but Frostwalker does not give you regeneration one like this does. And of course, for our third new ore, we are in the end and we are, oh my gosh, please, please, no Enderman, do not do this, be nice, be nice. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, the Ender Quartz. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I'm literally, okay, that's it, we're gonna have to kill these guys. No, 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 bad Enderman, bad, bad, bad. Do not- Why they gotta bully me? <laughs> okay, anyways, Ender Quartz is really awesome. It's kind of hard to find because it's spread out throughout the end. Ender Quartz is actually used for literally world domination. Speaking of world domination, Floopy here thinks that he can dominate the world. But I don't think that's possible. And he's also available on Amazon if you search Floop. You can literally purchase Floopy for like 15 bucks. It's awesome. This is where we make the Ender Quartz block. Now, when you place this down, it will start to corrupt the overworld. Spawn Enderman, Obsidian. Look at how much one block of Ender Quartz spreads. It took over like 50 blocks here in the overworld. Oh, this is a bad idea. This is such a bad idea. Oh my gosh, my Minecraft is lagging so much. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Oh wait, can we take the, oh, we can take over this entire ravine with these blocks too. I've never seen this so many Endermen in one place in my entire life. And really, they're going to bully me after I just spawned them. We are moving on, ladies and gentlemen. Now we are looking for spike ore. And obviously this ore can only be found in the desert biomes and it's actually a cousin to the minecraft cacti which we all know and love dearly sometimes the spike stones playing hard to get i know you're over your spike stone don't try to run away from me oh oh my gosh okay <laughs> there it is you guys just saw i took a lot of damage to it the spike stone looks like literally miniature cactus pickles I don't even know how to explain it. This is kind of similar to the Shroomite Ore because if you hold it in your hand, you start taking damage. Now it doesn't poison you, but it deals damage very rapidly. You can also feed it to other cacti and make them grow infinitely. Look at this, look at this. It's so awesome. How could you not love this ore? And if y'all love cacti as much as me, do me a solid and if you take your device and turn it this way and make that red subscribe button gray, you would be doing myself and cactus all over the world a giant favor, okay? I might be a little biased, but you guys know I love cacti so much. Just look at me, I look amazing. So spiked armor should allow me to walk through these mobs and deal damage to them all at the same time. Oh, oh, whoa, okay. Well, we are taking a significant amount of damage, but we're actually pushing back. Oh, oh my gosh, look at this. It's like having a force field on your Minecraft character. I wonder if I can legitimately kill these zombies. No, we're going to do it. Okay, but these baby zombies have a sword and do a lot of damage to me. Oh my gosh, they're starting to die. It literally works. Okay, this might be the most overpowered armor literally ever. I honestly thought the ice armor was gonna be the most overpowered, but nope, this is definitely more overpowered and awesome because it's made from cactus. Dude, this is, <laughs> this is so cool. Look at this, one zombie left. Oh, poor guy, they didn't even stand a chance. For this next ore, I must ask you a very important question. Are you a fan of magic? Maybe even Harry Potter? Well, this is the perfect ore for you. This is Magicite ore and it is literally magical. And of course, you're only going to find this ore in the dark oak forests, where everything is very spooky yet magical. The problem with Magicite Ore is it's even more rare than diamonds and emeralds combined. When you do find it, it's insane, and it will literally change your Minecraft world forever. Yeah, you like that? Got that wireless mouse. Let's go. Well, I managed to find diamonds, but no Magicite Ore. I am, however, going to collect these because when life gives you diamonds, you do not say no. And you will know when you find the Magicite Ore because it looks amazing. Come on, Magicite Ore. I can smell you from a mile away. I know you're close by. 
Okay, we found more diamonds, but no magicite. What is going on here? <gasps> no way. No way we actually found some. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude, just look at this stuff. So magicite actually drops in magicite orbs. We only found two. That's it. We found 10 diamonds and two magicite orbs. That's how rare this stuff is. The crafting for magicite orbs is actually really simple. Now that we have the magicite orbs, we can make a wand. I, no, this is not clickbait. We are literally making a magicite wand that has magical powers. Oh, oh, oh dude. <laughs> Dude, this looks so epic. It shoots a dark, slow purple, like, energy. It explodes, like, almost as much as TNT, and it will one-shot any mob. Oh, zombies. Oh, it will kill any mob in one hit, and it will turn them into a magical firework. Okay, but the firework deals a lot of damage, so do not be close to it when you use it. Holy moly. This is probably the worst part of the video because I have to go underwater. And as you know, I am made of lava. But do you see what is behind me? That, ladies and gentlemen, is kelp ore. So you can only find this ore in the warm ocean biomes. It's a little difficult to mine, if I'm being honest, but it is well worth the payoff. Oh, okay, we just cannot die. Okay, there we go. We only need five of these, and it turns into kelp balls, which is really funny because it is not in the shape of a ball at all. In fact, it kind of looks like a leaf or a piece of kelp. But anyways, you can make a helmet out of it, and the nicest thing about this is unlimited water breathing. Okay, did you hear me? Yes, unlimited water breathing and the ability to talk to fish. I can't show you the part where we talk to fish in Minecraft because that's coming in a later video, but I promise it works. Let's face it, if we didn't visit the nether for an ore video, it wouldn't be a new ore video, right? We are looking for the infamous magma ore. Not to be confused with its cousin, the magma block, which you can see right there. This is entirely different. The most popular place to find these is near a giant pool of lava like this, but they are very rare, similar to magicite ore. Not quite as rare, but still very, very rare. Come on. Oh! Oh my gosh, we just hit the jackpot, ladies and gentlemen. When you mine this, you get magma shards. Look at how epic the block looks. Oh, I love this ore so much. You have no idea. We just got 10 magma shards. That is actually really, really big. No cap. This armor literally looks like it belongs on me and it should never, ever, ever be taken off. With a full set of the magma armor equipped, you can walk over lava. Imagine how helpful this would be in the nether when you are looking for resources. Maybe you're playing hardcore mode. I don't know what it is, but this is just insanely epic. Not only that, but when you sneak, you set the world on fire and also yourself, but you don't take any fire damage, so it's okay. And you can enjoy no more damage from lava and no more damage from magma block. And when you have 20 mobs in front of you and they attack you, they all get set on fire, although not quite as useful as the spiked armor we showed off earlier, but still very, very useful. Today, I'm going to be showing you seven brand new creeper bosses in Minecraft. No, this is not clickbait. I'm going to prove you wrong right now. We're going to place our dirt like this. And as you know, to summon this creeper, we need to place his head on top of the dirt. But before we do that, I need you guys to stop and like the video as well as subscribe. And if you need some merch, I'm just saying we got PrestonStyles.com merch down below in the description. So hot, even a creeper would wear it. And let's get it back. <laughs> and let's get it, baby. There we go. So this right here is what we call the Earth Creeper. Uh, and he is very, 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 very fast. I need to be a little bit more... Hey, hey, Earth Creeper, don't be rude. So the Earth Creeper has a few different moves. He has the Earth Wall, the Earth Throw, Earth Pillar, and then his super ability, the Earth Explosion. And I kind of don't want to get near him because he does a lot of damage. As you can tell, you can see his health bar at the top. Oh, oh my gosh, no! Whoa, we barely jumped over that. Hey, bro, can you just chill out? Relax, homie. Relax. It's just a prank. Oh, no. What is that? What is that? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay. All I've got is flash motions of healing. I've got to be really careful. He kind of blends in, doesn't he? Oh, look at these snipes. Oh, 
Four in a row. Five in a row. All right, we're going in for some close quarters combat, baby. Something about this is looking really weird. Ah, yes. Take it. Take it, you big bully. Oh, oh. Okay, why is he not doing any abilities on me? I don't know. Which means he might be saving his stamina for something. Goodness gracious, he's a beefy beefcake. Oh, my, oh I'm, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Oh, oh, oh. I must, I must have Feather falling on or something. That was so close to toast. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, we barely got away. Wait. I think that actually damaged him. What if we use his own abilities to kill him? We actually might be able to make that work. Next time we see that move, let's see if we can kill him with it. There it is, there it is. All right, we're gonna use this to kill him. Yes, it worked! Oh my gosh, and we survived with only half a heart. That was incredible. So the next boss creeper we have, ladies and gentlemen, you build it with gold blocks. And this is the storm creeper. The storm creeper actually has four different types of moves, so let's spawn him in and see what he's made of. Uh-oh, what's happening? Oh, what? Yo, is he floating? Okay, I did not know that this guy was gonna be floating. So he's got four different types of moves. He's got lightning strike, storm minion attack, lightning storm, and his super ability, tornado. And whoa, what, what, what is that? What was that? What, he's shooting other creepers at me, man. Oh no, I can't reach him. I can't reach him. Oh, this is bad. My bow doesn't have power. The day, oh my gosh, I did five hearts of damage. Okay. Five hearts of damage, are you kidding me? Dude, this guy's overpowered. I should have never summoned him in the first place, but I wanted to show you guys what he looked like. Oh gosh, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, okay, we're good. We need to keep our distance from the Storm Creeper. I feel like he's too overpowered. Oh no, he's getting too, oh, he's getting close. Oh, no, 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 oh, 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 oh. One heart, one heart, one heart. Okay, yeah, 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 use a couple of those. All right, he is definitely strong. Oh, what's happening? Can you, sh oh, you can't even shoot those. You can't shoot them, what the heck? Don't ask me how, ladies and gentlemen, but I have brought the Storm Creeper down. Yes. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, there's still so much damage. You gotta be kidding me, man. Dude, Storm Creeper is literally so overpowered. All right, I'm taking this guy down. Come on, yeah, 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 you like those crits? You like those crits? You can't even handle these crits. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. OP Lightning, OP Lightning, run away, run away, run away. I think it hits three times, something like that. Come on. Storm Creeper, man, oh no, 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 oh, oh, oh. whoa, 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 come on, dang it, I hate that he floats, dude, it drives me nuts, take him out, take him out, I got him in a corner, this is dangerous, this is dangerous, if he starts doing a move, yup, like that, do you see how ridiculous the Storm Creeper is, guys, there is a Labor Day flash sale right now at PrestonStyles.com, only for Labor Day weekend, go check it out, okay, back to the video, not this time, Storm Creeper, not this time. Oh my god, stop, stop, stop. If you kill me twice in a row, I'm actually gonna be so mad at you. Yo, yo, you're going down, bro. If only I had a sharpness So, Oh my gosh, that's the tornado move. That's the tornado. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I've never seen that move before. Holy cow, dude. Okay, what, how are we supposed to, do we just have to shoot him? Yeah, we gotta shoot him when the tornado's alive. Come on, get those crits in, baby. Big crits, big crits, only big crits. Oh, I'm not critting. Oh, he's gonna shoot, he's gonna shoot something. I'm running away, I knew it, I knew it. Easy, I read your mind, bro. I'm not dying to you this time, Mr. Storm Creeper. I've died too many times. Come on, man. Oh, no, not the tornado, not the tornado. Why would you start with a tornado? Wait, this is actually OP. I can kind of shoot him while I'm inside the tornado. This is actually dope. Oh my gosh, with the fall damage. Eat my arrows, bro. Eat my arrows. Let's go, baby. So that was our second boss creeper, which was the storm creeper, but now we gotta move on to our third creeper. Now, in my opinion, this one is really, really, really scary because we're in the nether. I call this one the magma boss creeper. So let's spawn him in. Oh, back up. Back up. Oh, it's getting dangerous. It's getting, ha oh, ho, ho. wait, he's me? Oh my gosh, I didn't realize the magma creeper was literally me. So he also has four different types of abilities. He's got fireball, magma wave, fire breath. Oh my gosh, what is that? And Krakatoa, which is his super ability. And why does he look like me? I mean, I'm not gonna lie, he does look really, ha oh, that's bad, oh, that's bad, oh, that's bad. Oh, no, 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 ow, 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 ow. Giant firing around him. That is so not fair, dude. If this wasn't 1.9 PVP, you would be so dead. Oh my gosh, that's a fireball. Ow, 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 ow. Fireballs deal a lot of damage. 
We've almost got him down to half health, though. I'm not... Oh, no. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Oh, my gosh. Fire breath. Oh, oh no. Oh, dude, dude. Okay. If I ever see him doing that again, I am running so far away. Come on. Come on, you little... Really? Really? No, 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 no. I know you got your fire breath. Yeah, stay away from me with that stanky breath. See, technically, I could just sit here and bow him all day, but I'm a man's man, so I don't want to sit back here and cower Oh, the fire ring. We can dodge this. We can dodge this. Wait for it. Wait for it. Jump! Yes! We managed the dodge at this time. Take that, Mr. Magma Creeper. Oh, your days are numbered, bro. Your days are numbered. Don't think you're gonna... Oh, whoa, 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 OP, bro, OP. That has got to be his super. That's what killed me last time, I think. Oh, here we go. Later, Magma Creeper. Oh! Damn all them creepers. For our next creeper, we have the Ender Creeper. He's very scary, Terry Larry. I'm telling you right now. Uh-oh, uh-oh. What's happening? What's happening? Oh, no. Oh, I'm scared. Oh my gosh, he looks so cool, but so scary at the same time. No, 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 Ender Creeper. No, no, no. We need to take you out. Okay, run away, run away, run away. So he also has four different moves. He's got teleport, sneak attack, block toss, just like an Enderman. Oh, speaking of block toss, there it is. Okay, it does a pretty good amount of damage. And then the Enderman Raid, which I really hope we do not have to face because it is, oh no. Did you see that? He just teleported me in the sky. He literally just teleported me in the sky. Take, take this, take this. Yes. Oh no, oh no, he's got a block above his head. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, a lot of damage dealt right there. Take this into Creeper. Come on. We're almost down to half, Dad Gummit. If I could just get him a little bit lower. I'm a little bit worried though, guys. We're running low on potions. Oh, okay. Oh, no. He teleported me again. See, the teleport moves do so much damage. I take so much fall damage on those. Don't you dare use your ultimate ability. He's looking at me like he... Oh, no. Oh, no. I think that's his ultimate ability. Yup. That's it. This is the Enderman raid. We gotta run. It's gonna spawn 15 Endermans after me. We can't handle this, bro. Oh, my gosh, dude. I don't even want to look behind me. Wait, we could get him with our bow, though. I think the Enderman raid has finished. Thank the Lord. All right, he's got the block toss. I don't even think the block deals that much damage. I ain't even worried about the block. Yeah, you silly little Enderman creeper. Take this. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. And finally, we have finished the Ender Creeper, ladies and gentlemen. I, what? Wow. The Ender Dragon killed me as I killed the Ender Creeper. How ironic. Now, let me tell you something about this one. This is what we call the Robot Boss Creeper. He has a laser vision, laser spin, energy ball, and laser field. I'm, oh no. Ho, oh, ho, ho, dude. Holy cactus. Oh my gosh. Okay, Robot Creeper, hey, we can be friends. We can be friends, but I gotta kill you because you're trying to kill my world. I can't allow you to kill my Minecraft world. Oh no. Oh no. What is that? What is that sound? What is that sound? Oh gosh. Woo! What the heck just happened? I don't know, but I'm really scared of it. What is this redstone doing behind him? I have no idea. I feel like being this close to the robot creeper is a bad idea. Okay, let's run now. We've done enough damage. Run away, run away, run away. Oh, come on. Are you going to use a move or what? You're just going to sit here? He's just sitting here relaxing. I ain't letting you... Oh, no. Oh, no. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. What the heck was that? I think that was his energy ball move. I don't even know, man. Oh, that's what's that. That's laser vision. Laser. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay. Let's not get in front of that laser vision. How about that? Oh, no. No, 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 no. No laser vision for me, bucko. I think I'm good right where I am. Be careful. What's he doing? He's flying. He's flying. He's fl What is this? What is that? What the heck is that? Um... He just killed himself! GG, ladies and gentlemen. This one is really scary, and he might even remind you of a Pokemon, but this is the Ghost Creeper. His attacks are the Web Shot, Spook Attack, Throw, and even Dinner Bone. Oh my gosh, he's terrifying! Yo, dude, if I saw this in my Minecraft world, I would run away. Oh, oh no, 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 oh, oh, okay. You do not want to get caught up in the web shot, guys. If you get caught up in the web shot, it could be, oh no, it's, no, 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 no. What's he doing? What's he doing? Oh my gosh, he just picked me up. He literally just picked me up. Did you guys see that? You can't just pick me up like that. I'm not your toy, Mr. Ghost Creeper. Oh, you missed your web shot, you big pleb. Yeah, how you like some of these apples? 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, what happened? What was that? That was terrifying. Never again. So the bad thing about the Ghost Creeper is because he's in flight, he's really hard to crit. It can be very, very, very difficult to hit him. Ah, oh, oh gosh. I feel like I'm having to work so much harder than normal. Oh no, 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 stop it, stop it, you, stop it. He keeps doing that, it drives me nuts. Come on, he hasn't used his ultimate ability on us though yet, which is our, oh gosh. Oh gosh, come on, ha, yes. Take some of these, Ghost Creeper. Yeah, take some of that. Mm, oh, baby, keep, oh no, 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 no. Oh, I hate that one, it scares me. That one scares me a lot. Oh, I fought him above water. Can I fall in the water? No fall damage? He threw me. Wow, this guy's literally a bully. He threw me away from the water so I wouldn't take any fall damage. This guy is a monster. You are a monster, Mr. Ghost Creeper. How could you do this to me? Come on, we gotta get those crits. Dude, it's so hard to hit the crits right now. Oh my gosh. Oh, no, 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 no. I've got decay. I mean, I've got, wait, what the heck? What the heck? What was that? That was his ultimate. That was his ultimate. It had to have been his ultimate. That was so scary. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we're doing good. He's almost dead. I think he's at like 15% health. We can do it, guys. We gotta get more crits. Oh, no, not the wither. Not the wither. He's so close, guys. He's so close. Come on. Yes. One more bow shot ought to do it. Let's take this guy out. Hey, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Ghost Creeper stands. No chance against Preston Place. Now for the most colorful creeper you have ever seen in your entire life. This is the Rainbow Creeper, ladies and gentlemen. And his abilities, well, his first one is Paintball. I know, very original. Oh my gosh, he actually looks amazing. I'm not even upset. I'm not even upset. And his health bar changes colors. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, ow, 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 ow. That's the Disco 4 ability he's using on us right now. It does a lot of damage. I'm just waiting for his Rainbow Laser, because his Rainbow Laser, oh, there it is. Yup, that was his Rainbow Laser. We cannot get hit by that. I'm telling you, it's gonna one-shot us. That's the last thing we want to get hit by. We got a, oh no, Disco 4, Disco 4. Run away, run away, run away. Oh no, 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 no. Keep that Disco 4 away from me. I do not want to boogie and get down with you, Mr. Rainbow Creeper. All right, so far so good. Oh no, whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, stop. Okay, oh, that was a lot of damage. That was his paintball ability, which does way too much damage. Oh, okay, come on. I'm gonna keep him in the water. Get in the water, Rainbow Creeper. I feel like he's about to do an ability. Oh, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Okay, this is our last health potion, guys. Oh no, rainbow laser. Whoa, but now that you've used abilities, you've got to recharge. Perfect time to come. Oh no, no, Disco 4, Disco 4. Ow, 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 ow. Disco 4 does way too much damage. Good time for me to get away. Okay, now let's get back in. A Little bit more melee damage. Okay, and back up now, back up, back up, back up. See, perfect timing. Dude, the paintball deals so much damage. And here we go for the final hit. Let's go, baby. The Rainbow Creeper bites the dust. We had five ores in Minecraft custom developed just for this video to take you guys through what is, in my opinion, a very cool experience. So I'm very excited to share it with you all. And this right here is the first one. So this is Silver Ore. Now, Silver Ore is very different. You can't actually break it with a regular pickaxe. If you do, it just breaks. So it's not very good to use a pickaxe, but you can mine it. Dun, 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 dun. If you have a pickaxe that has silk touch, you will actually be able to mine the silver ore and it will drop. I think it's a very cool way to change mining up a little bit in Minecraft. Oh, and uh, oh, look at this. We've actually got more silver ore above us. By the way, if you guys love seeing these custom ore videos, make sure you guys do me a huge favor. Leave a like down below on this video. So now that we've got more than enough silver ore, I've got almost 40 here. I got to show you the next part. You might be wondering why there's a very large tower above us. So we've got to climb all the way to the tippity top of this bad boy, place down the silver ore, and then wait for lightning to strike it. That is the only way you can get ingots from the silver ore. It sounds very complicated, but I promise it's super cool. All right, so we're... <laughs> oh, this is kind of scary, low-key. So we're gonna place down a ton of silver. Look at this. So the lightning is actually attracted to the silver ore, and basically this is what breaks it down for us, kind of like a pickaxe, which I think is insanely awesome. So look at this. We've already got three silver ore, a metal infused with intense amounts of energy from the lightning above, which is striking it and allowing us to craft it into actual items. 
But wait, there's more. So that's not the only thing that, that like, silver ore is just really cool. So I want to show you guys what you can do with it now. One thing that you can do, if you surround a creeper egg with silver, you will get a charged creeper spawn egg. And this thing is so dangerous, dude. As you all know, charged creepers are pretty powerful. They can take you out in literally one explosion. You can also use it to make a sword. So this is no ordinary Minecraft sword, as you can tell. This, I wanted to spawn a few zombies to demonstrate this. But if you right-click the sword, it causes an explosion. And uh, it doesn't, like, sometimes it will break blocks. Sometimes it won't. But it deals massive damage. We got, we got what, three, two zombies over here? And it literally just one-shots. Oh, wait, there's more zombies beneath them? Dude, this thing is so cool. And last but not least, before we move on to the next ore that could be added to Minecraft, we've got the silver arrow. So you hold this in your offhand with a bow and arrow. We're going to spawn another zombie because he's so nice to us. If you shoot that mob, it will then be struck by lightning, dealing additional damage damage, which is very helpful when you're taking out a lot of mobs at once. Oh yeah, you guys already know what's coming. You see this giant pot of gold with these leprechauns and this massive rainbow? This is rainbow ore, and it's probably one of my favorite ores just because rainbow ore looks so cool. One of the coolest things that you could ever find in Minecraft, but you do have to kind of chat up with the leprechauns a bit, so if you have an irrational fear of leprechauns, <laughs> this ore may or may not be for you, but if you're from Ireland or you're Irish, bruh, this ore was literally made for you just for this YouTube video. And basically what they tell you is you can only mine rainbow ore if you have a golden pickaxe, which is really funny because normally golden pickaxes are like absolutely useless, but in this situation, they're very helpful. Prepare yourself for the best looking ore that it will ever exist in Minecraft. Just below us, there are rainbow ores. I promise you, look at these ores, man. Look at the effect these are giving off. They're like constantly waving in rainbow around and around. They look so cool. Oh, I love these so much. Even when you're holding the ore, you've got that rainbow effect. Oh, man. See, many feet. It's so beautiful. So this ore is very strange. If you put it inside of a furnace, it might look like it's melting down into an ingot, but nothing actually happens. It just wastes the fuel source that you put in the, the furnace. So it's actually not even doing anything, which means we need to give it to Mr. Leprechaun. You know what? This guy wasn't very nice to me, so I'm going to go to the guy on our left. And in exchange, leprechauns are kind of like villagers. So in exchange for giving him the ore, he will now throw me back the rainbow gems. Oh, and he gave me 64. What a generous leprechaun. One of the items you can make with the gems is a rainbow wand. It also kind of looks like a lollipop mixed with a shovel. I don't know why it looks like that. But the rainbow wand, if you left click it, watch what happens. When you right click the rainbow wand, you get a particle, you get a shield. How cool is this? So like, if you hold the right click button, you have a permanent shield. You've got the rainbow shield, which is pretty cool. But the next part about this one is the best part. The amount of damage this thing can cause, it is most certainly going to absolutely destroy this pot of gold. But I got to do it for demonstrational purposes. We are going to spawn in adorable cow and when we left click with the wand we also might die so i'm gonna back up a little bit look at the damage the rainbow wand causes so if you just shoot it regularly it actually won't do any damage unless there's a mob in front of you and then it deals like massive damage as you just saw if you put a rainbow gem into your uh, crafting slot you can make rainbow powder and this turns like sheeps into rainbow sheeps horses will then turn into unicorns which is probably one of the best parts about this it turns hostile mobs into to friendly mobs where they won't attack you anymore. You can make full rainbow gear with it, which uh, it just looks snaggy. Snaggy. Snazzy. The rainbow gear will give you this beautiful rainbow particle trail effect that will, uh, I, I guess in a way, like it could ruin your house or it could also make it kind of cool because you could like spawn infinite amounts of wool this way. You just walk, get some shit. Look at this. I didn't even realize this, but you can literally just make infinite wool for yourself so you don't even need to have sheep. This is cloud ore, and this is probably one of the most difficult ores to grab. You are unable to mine it with your pickaxe. As you can see, I can mine everything but the ore. So the one way to mine this that's very dangerous is by using a creeper. As you guys just noticed, the creeper did no damage to me because I stood behind the cloud ore, but you are able to get cloud ingots from it, and you can even see through it just, just a little bit, which I find to be pretty funky. I find it to be kind of cool. Look at this. I'm like staring through a little mirror at myself. You can also use TNT. It's probably the easier way to get cloud ore. Not as epic, but still very, very useful way to get a bunch of cloud ore. So let me go scoop all this up. The really cool thing about cloud ore, I didn't realize you can walk through it. You can literally, it's, it's basically an invisible block, 
but once you mine it with an explosion, it actually drops, which is kind of mind-boggling. First thing is first, we are going to craft a full set of cloud armor. Not only does this look very snazzy, but once you put on the full set of cloud armor, it gives you the ability to double jump. This is very similar to like Super Smash Brothers. And also like who wouldn't want a double jump feature in vanilla Minecraft? This would be so helpful for climbing things. Dude, imagine doing a parkour map with the ability to double jump or even like fighting the ender dragon. Something so difficult would be so easy. This armor would be overpowered if you could have it in the nether. And I can double jump away from these supercharged creepers. Look at this. Hey, nope. Just kidding, Chuck Testa. Anyways, I'm tired of fluxing on. I've been fluxing on these creepers for too long. So the next thing we're gonna be making, hey creepers, can you guys leave me alone? I'm trying to show off something cool for a YouTube video. Thank you very much, my good sirs. Now, put all of them inside of here. Nine cloud ingots will give you one super elytra. And this elytra is created from the stratosphere. Allows you to fly much further and higher than a regular or basic elytra. Although it does look the same, I promise you it is not. Basically, um, with a regular elytra, you would not be able to glide like this. You would need a lot of fireworks if you wanted to fly in this similar fashion. But this is a super elytra, so we have a little bit of more added benefits. Look at this. This is actually insane. Look, you can go up. I'm literally going straight up up without even using a firework. Oh, this is so nice. Why does vanilla Minecraft not have this yet? Soon, maybe. Maybe they'll take inspiration from this YouTube video. I don't know. Oh, and do me a favor, ladies and gentlemen, if you see a red subscribe button on the channel anywhere, make sure you hit that subscribe button, making it gray and enable those bell notifications so we can move on to the next item. Okay, we are going, this is like supersonic speed using this elytra, I love it. We are going to land over here in this beautiful plains area to show you guys the last item you can craft. Using carpet, put carpet on the top, cloudy it's on the bottom and what do you get a magic carpet and using the magic carpet you basically have the same abilities of an elytra but <laughs> this is like this thing is like overpowered because it's kind of like a mount you can fly continuously it never runs out of juice so you can basically just keep flying forever now it doesn't have the same gliding capabilities of elytra but if you prefer this over elytra at least you can choose between the two of which one is your favorite one of the things, um, I don't think I really ever took advantage of bees in Minecraft, but today we are going to be taking advantage of them because the next ore is the golden honey ore, and this stuff is epic. So I don't know if you guys can see this right over here. Okay, we gotta be very gentle to the bees. The bees do not like it when you take their honey ore. They get a little bit upsetty spaghetti. So I need to do this a little bit more incognito style. I'm gonna start from this side where the bees can't see us. Now, it, it kind of looks like gold ore, but do not be confused, ladies and gentlemen. This is honey ore, and there is no need to smelt it. When you break it, it just pops. Oh, look at that. We got an angry bee. The bee is not happy. We have taken its um, honey ore. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna block this off. I don't want to get attacked by a bee today. No, thank you. Now, there's a trick to the honey ore that a lot of people don't know. When you get a crafting table, you put it down, you try to craft some items made out of honey, nothing happens. This is because you need to make a special crafting table in order to use the honey ore. Sorry, they're not- Sorry, not honey ore. Honey gems. Oh no, we've got an angry bee. Look at the bees are angry. The bees are like following they're like, yo, we know you took our ore, buddy. Listen, dude, it's for video purposes. Don't get mad at me. This in my hand right now, this is a honey pot. So you can use, to make a honey pot, it's really easy. You just need like honey gems and then you need some glass bottles. No water involved, no brewing, nothing. It's super simple. Let's say you've got some cattle in your area and they're unruly. Look at them, look how fast this cow is. Hit them with the honey pot and they are a slow down. They basically get stuck from all the honey whenever you hit them with it. So you can make your cows like run super fast, freeze them over here, freeze this one. So they look how, look how slow this cow is moving. Look at, him, look at him, he's like a snail. To be honest though, Minecraft cows, a little bit, little bit of resemblance to a snail. I mean, look at it. You see it a little bit. They kind of look like snails. Then you put one of the, put one of the honey pots inside of here, surround it with your favorite honey gems. What do you get? Friendly bee spawn egg. Not only is he very cute and adorable, but let's say you want to spawn a zombie. Check this out. The bee will directly go towards him and take him out. Look at this guy go, man. You gotta admit, for a bee, this guy's pretty powerful. Imagine having like, if you have 10 of these, you can basically beat the Ender Dragon. I've done it before and it's hilarious. And last but not least, we've got the honey arrows, very similar to the silver arrows, except instead of lighting things on fire, the arrows will stick to the enemies dealing consistent damage. Look at this. Look at that. That's actually overpowered. This is way better than a silver arrow, I just realized. Because not only does it, it pushes the zombie back, 
over and over again, and it's kind of like, it's like, it's like withering effect, but even more powerful. Dude, look at this. This is kind of, this is ridiculous. I did not think that the honey arrows were going to be this destructive. By the way, you handsome viewers, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video so far, because we are now moving on to the fifth and last ore, which is kind of sad, because I don't really want the video to end, because I'm having a lot of fun, but we must move on to the fifth ore, otherwise these zombies beneath me might catch up to me and eat my toes, and I really enjoy my toes, and I, <laughs> I don't want to see them get eaten. And as you beautiful people know, we saved the best ore for the last ore. So this is the mirror ore, which actually is very, very, very difficult to get because it kind of throws your brain through a little tease. You see this, right? When you're mining, you think, oh, look at this. I found some iron ore. That is not iron ore. It actually disguises itself as iron ore. Then you mine the block directly across from it, which looks like a regular stone block. But lo and behold, when you mine it, you get dun, 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 mirror stones, which is basically the ore version of mirror ore. And as you can see, it's pretty hard to get. Like, there's not a lot of mirror ore. I'm strip mining right now, and I've only gotten two. Like, that's not a lot of ore. It's kind of strange, because in a way, this ore is, like, living in a way. Like, it doesn't want to be found or mined, so it disguises itself as iron. We are going to make a full set of mirror armor. Once you have this equipped, you get this, like, really cool particle effect that appears around your Minecraft character, and any damage that a monster deals to you, it will be dealt directly back to them. So let's just go and test this out on our friendly zombie. The zombie gets not, wow, he gets knocked back way further than I realized. Look at this. How many hits is it gonna take for him to kill himself? Five hits. I just wanna let you guys know, mirror armor is not the same strength as diamond armor. In fact, it's a little bit less, it's like, it's a little bit weaker than iron armor, but the fact that it reflects a lot of damage onto mobs is incredibly helpful because I can, I literally could just AFK farm zombies and do absolutely nothing, which I really like. This right here is the best part about mirror stones, the reflective bow. The reflective bow will go through a monster and then come back and attack it for a second time, hold on. So I just spawned a lot of zombies to show you guys what this does. This bow is going to go through these zombies and then come back through them for additional damage, kind of like if the bow and arrow was a boomerang. So watch this, I'm gonna line up the zombies. Look, it's gonna go through once, come back again. Oh, this thing is so sick. The last thing you can do with the mirror stones, if you put them all into the crafting table, you get a mirror clock. And this is basically the Kagebusha no Jutsu of Naruto. Yes, I am a weeb and I'm proud. This will make a clone, a shadow clone. I'm gonna call it a shadow clone because it sounds way cooler. So right click this, boom. Shadow clone and anything I do this thing will do right after me So for example, let's say we're gonna go mine some stone It will now start mining stone as well and if we mine some coal, it'll mine some coal Wait, is it what if there's no coal left? Oh, thank God. There's still some coal left place a torch down He will your clone will also place a torch down. I'm trying to think of like what else right? Oh, what if I make a oh, I'm gonna make a crafting table Will he follow me and also make a crafting table? Oh, okay a little slow, but he did it the last and final thing We will have the clone attempt to follow us we are going to fly as high as we can, take off fly mode, and see if it will also follow to the death. I don't think it will. I feel like we're pretty high now. This is a good moment, and let's see, is it following us? I think it is. Yes, it did, let's go. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. You get to see a one-of-a-kind photo of me giving Sunday a piggyback ride. This photo was from 2013? Do me a favor, tweak this picture to Sunday and remind them how much I love it. Also, thank you for watching the video. You rock.